Hello, once again, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining me. CMR, Camera Motion Research, the iFootageGear.com, selling for $325, the Hummingbird. This is the iFootage Hummingbird Roly E Gimbal for GoPro. This video review. The mini series introduction and unboxing has a lot to offer, so please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. On the top of the box, as well as the bottom of the box, on the front of the box, as well as back of the box, will be duplicate information, as well provided on the side of the box, some more information as well. If we read this information that's provided on the box, lightweight, smallest, simple, and easy to operate, easy to calibrate, combine the techniques of a brushless gimbal and the latest gyroscope with rotation control mode, and so forth. Opening up the box and carefully removing the contents. You'll find stickers, a pass, warranty card, a manual in two languages. This kit contains the gear head, the handle, the thread locking tab, the lens reinforcement holder, excluding the camera and the battery. If we take this out of the package, please lift up. Make sure you hold on to the head as well as the handle because they are separated. You take the thread locking tab and you slide it into place and lock it in either the Hero 4 or the Hero 3. Please remove any additional attachments to the lenses or the camera. Take out the reinforcement lens by unscrewing, placing on to one of the cameras. Locate the side, remove the door, slide into the mechanism and lock into place. Located on top, lift up on the battery door, remove it to the side. Use the appropriate battery. A Hero 4 will not work in this situation. You're going to need a Hero 3 battery. Slide it correctly into place. Put the tab on and press it down firmly. Turning on is as simply as pressing the on and off button. Please make sure you firmly press it so the red LED indicator lights up. Hold the camera straight for one and a half seconds. If the light doesn't come on, press again. Allow the camera to initialize one and a half seconds. The camera is initialized. In the back of the camera is a rocket switch that would lower and raise the angle. It will continue to move until you let go and move along a little more for smooth rolling action. So when you're ready to let go and have level, let go a half a second earlier. There is one way to put the handle on and the correct way is to have it facing with the locking tab or locking screw mechanism to the left hand side of the unit and it will fold back left and right. It will not go forward. Do not override the system. It will shake and that is quite normal. 125 degrees is the average range of the unit. In order to shut the unit off, you need to press firmly on the switch. Up to four seconds and it will turn off. With GoPro attachments you can place on to the bottom. You will have enough clearance. I do apologize if I don't have any GoPro attachments. You can place on a monopole. It will fit there nice and comfortable. 
On the top of the camera you have ports, so if you want to uh, charge your camera or download your video, it will work. But, with the Polar Pro mic lining up the correct area, it does not fit in. Not going to force this in. If you need to charge the battery of the main unit, you can fit your cable in as well the correct way and charge it as well as update your firmware. Using a small thumb screw it's pretty neat how you have now a nice compact looking gimbal from high footage the hummingbird. There are going to be many video demonstrations to come so please uh, check out these video clips. Using a monopole and the hummingbird does a mighty fine job. It has its ups, it has its downs. Well, of course, if I go up and I go down like so, you're going to see that I have problems. But if I hold it nice and steady and keep it steady on a line, then I'm going to have a perfect video. go down low to the floor and I can go nice and high way up holds a nice line. The only problem I see with this unit is the LED in the back should be a little bit more exposed. Follow the staircase up nice and beautiful indeed. Let's look at the sky by going down on a stick. And let's look at the ground by going up on a stick. Level out. And we got a beautiful shot. I personally don't use the gimbal every single time. There are occasions that I may take the gimbal out once in a while. Not all my shots are shot with the gimbal. It is great to have as an accessory, and that is what I enjoy about the Hummingbird.
I hope I made your decision a lot easier to check out the CMR iFootageGear.com Hummingbird Rolio. It is a gimbal to be looked at and the demonstrations I provided should be sufficient enough. For me, I have a uh, stride that I bounce up and down a lot and maybe go left to right a lot. Everybody varies and that is not a problem with the gimbal. As I am walking nice and slow, the gimbal will do just fine. Have a great day and thank you once again for watching the demonstrations. The Hummingbird iFootageGear.com selling for $325 is an excellent product indeed. I have enjoyed the product in hand while going out and demonstrating some of the shots. There will be many more shots to come in the near future. So let's get right into this conclusion of the product, the Hummingbird Rolio. Compact, durable, and very easy to use is definitely a plus sign. The design of the product is very neat indeed is very compact, has an ergonomic handle that can be interchangeable to any GoPro part or aftermarket part. Allowing to fit three different cameras, the Hero 3, the Plus, and the 4. That is very neat indeed. The only downside is no waterproof casing or a waterproof gimbal. Also very easy to use. A very simple on and off switch and a rocket switch. At some given times you do have to hold on to the on switch and if last resorts it doesn't shut off just open up the battery door cover. Charging both the camera and the unit is very simple by just plugging in to the ports provided. Very simple indeed. As long as you don't go overboard with the angles you'll get excellent sturdy stabilization shots. This thing could go as low as to the floor, as high as you want. You could put this on a quadcopter, on a car, a bicycle, a side of the helmet, in front of the helmet, on a boat, anything that you can imagine. But please remember, your camera is exposed to the element. The gimbal can withstand up to 17.9 miles per hour in wind. After that, the gimbal will become shaky. So please do not push this anywhere past 20 miles per hour in the elements of wind. The product uses a GoPro battery. It runs for roughly an hour and 20 minutes for the GoPro. It also runs as well as 60 through 75 minutes for the gimbal. If you need extra time, you could probably plug in a battery source to the top of the gimbal and run the product for extended periods. You may want to test out that theory. I am very happy, very excited, and very pleased with the unit. And I could definitely suggest checking them out. I could recommend the Rolio, known as the iFootage Hummingbird Gimbal from CMR. They are the owners and the uh, product people that supplied this unit, Camera Motion Research. On that note, thank you very much for watching this review and have a great day. Check back for many more videos to come in the near future and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, show some love.